The state minister of the separatists in Karabakh supported Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Russian billionaire Ruben Vadanyan refrained from condemning what is happening in Ukraine on the live broadcast of the BBC. In an interview with the Hard Talk program, this person avoided answering the question about the events in Ukraine. He noted, I think that no matter what my answer is to the position of Russia, France, the United States and other countries, it will hinder the possibility of receiving the support of the international community. It would be wrong to interpret this. The host of the show, Stephen Sacker, reminded Vardanian of his past life in Russia, noting that he earned billions thanks to corruption schemes and Russian leadership connections. Vardanian was clearly not ready for such a scenario. This can be seen from the recorded part of the interview. Stephen Sacker says in the part of the interview, I think it is important to look at your past and ask yourself why you are in Karabakh today. You are a very wealthy man who has amassed at least $1 billion from a successful business career in Moscow that coincided with the political rise of Vladimir Putin. And it is clear that you are very close to Putin. You are well aware that the Center for the Investigation of Corruption and Organized Crime and Navalny's Anti-Corruption Foundation have accused you of illegal business. No official charges have been brought against you, but there are allegations that you are part of the oligarchic system controlled by Vladimir Putin. Putin, which largely explains the source of your wealth. While answering these questions, Vardanian was very tense and nervous. Vardanian avoided questions about Russia's aggression against Ukraine, his business, as well as criticizing Russian peacekeepers out of respect for the Armenian leadership. With this, he demonstrated that he justified Russia's actions.